Hey, how's it going, friends? My name is Angel Alex, and welcome back to the channel. We are back with some more of L.A. Noir. Last episode, we were promoted to Vice. New cases, new partner. Um, our last case had to deal with an overdose. The case went well. Um, I think we ended up arresting people from this uh, ice company. Now we're on to our second case in Vice, and I think we're going to be meeting up with a guy named Freddy. So. Let's go ahead and head in that direction. Actually, uh, you drive, sir. You drive, please, cuz... You're behind the wheel. I don't feel like driving. <laughs> Get right into it. In we go. Uh, Freddy? Anybody named Freddy? There's a little sneak. That's him in the back, Cole. Ah. My eggs were running. This guy. That cherry. Freddy, you're looking good. You're gonna help me, right? That's what I'm here for. You got the money? The 20? Sure, right here. 20? I said. You want the money or the alternative? Tell us about the reefer, Freddy. Who's he? Another good Samaritan. Answer the question. Grass comes from Tijuana. They bring in 50 pounds a week. 50 pounds? Are you hallucinating, Freddy? It's stashed at a house at 1452 North Las Palmas. Names, Freddy. The guy at the house is a spick that goes by the name Juan Garcia Cruz. So be careful. He likes guns. Now, do I get my money? Do me a favor, Freddy. Spend the money on a bus ticket. You can't last forever on a snitch jacket. All right, Let's go, go interview visit this Cruise character. Our in investigate. 50 pounds of dope. Cruise. Crazy. All right. Um, where's the car? You believe a story? Sure. A hophead like Freddy would raffle his sister for his next score. Here we are. Oh, he's gonna make a run for him. I just wanna bet. Oh, shit. He's got a Tommy gun. Call for help. You gotta be kidding me. I'll try and find a way in. The hell is this guy? What the fuck? Be careful. What's it do? Shit. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Whew. Shit. Damn, he was just spraying and praying. I'll ask you politely to move on. Next time I won't be so nice. <laughs> All right, I guess we're gonna have a look around. Let's check out the body. You guys don't have to leave a mess. What happened? Dope peddler, Juan Cruz. You open fire and, well, the rest of the story tells itself. Nothing. All right. Check his jacket pockets. Thirty-seven. Juan Garcia Cruz. This is his address, but this place looks like a front. He's got nothing in his wallet. Besides his ID, of course. Anything in here? A quarter. A silver dollar. I thought they took these things out of circulation. Where do you have that? What is that noise? Is 
the noise the hand made? I guess so. Weird. Why is his hand making that much noise? Alright. to be in Spanish. Weird. It's up all these tomato boxes. This gun. Looks like there's not really much I can do with the gun. Doesn't anyone eat regular meals anymore? Junkies feeding on popcorn and grasshoppers living on soup. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Oh. Maybe these are the guys keeping Juan so well stocked with soup. 20th century market? Okay. Another gun? Jesus. Don't think this is anything. He's got so many guns! There's another one up here. What have we got here? Drawings. What is this? Not everything here is going to be relevant. Oh, sorry. Bolts. Weird. Jump like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid, dude. The fuck? Just gonna shit. Oh. What now is, we're getting somewhere. What is going on? These guys, dude. Let me check these just in case. Soup. You hungry or something, Phelps? Hell yeah, I am. Look at that. Look at that, ladies and gents. I'd say that's pretty good value for 12 cents. <laughs> Factory sealed. Someone at the cannery has a lot of explaining to do. What a beauty, mate. All right. Down she goes. Are any of these actually soup? Nope. More weed. Tons and tons of weed. This looks important. Delivery ledger, huh? With Juan dead, we need a new suspect, Cole. Is there a pattern to the deliveries? Let's see. Oh, didn't that other guy say something about Tijuana? There's a lot of them. This guy, EJ, seems to be bringing in most of the serious weight. 
dates and times seem pretty regular. We should notify the border crossing. Those fuckers are probably in on it. Let's wait and see how this plays out. All right. That's all the evidence. All right. I guess we can go talk to, uh, well, we can find out. I think we can talk on the phone here. Find out the address of the soup. No, 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 the, the market? No, what was it? No, maybe not. I'm, maybe, I'm not, no, no, no. Another day, another dollar. Oh, let's talk to the corner. Not now, Phelps. Oh, okay, never mind. Shit. Can you drive to this one? All right, so we can either choose Fine. to go Where to the soup headed? company or the market. Let's go to the soup company. Let's do that. Brother says the morphine is still turning up. Makes sense. We have no idea how much of the stuff Lenny shifted. There's been no comeback from Cohen as yet. Maybe Confidential Magazine is right, and Bugsy is on the slide. You read that stuff? I wouldn't say it to his face if I was you. That is one hot-tempered son of a bitch. It's like a school. <laughs> right. Let's see if we can find out who's been over seasoning the soup in this place. <laughs> nice. Good one. LAPD. Who owns this factory, ma'am? Mr. Parnell. Uh, Howard Parnell. I'll let him know you're here. Please, take a seat. If you don't mind, we'll come with you. If you must. Parnell. Howard Parnell. Okay. You just wanted to follow her, didn't you? You sly dog. I must apologize for my partner's role. He said that eye. in front of her he face. He hates saying goodbye, but he loves watching them leave. Give it a rest, Roy. Um, if you could show these men in to see Mr. Parnell, Doris. They're from the LAPD. Follow me, gentlemen. Follow me. What is going on? Hello. We're a family company using family recipes. We don't know anything about dope rings. I need you to stop this from ruining the company's reputation. LAPD, sit tight, fatso. You could be in very serious trouble. There's no reason to be rude. Take a seat, gentlemen. I'm sure we can sort this all out. Maybe you can explain no why we found $5 rude. bags of marijuana in sealed Parnell soup cans. That's an outrageous allegation. How do you explain it, Chubby? We found at least 30 cans, all sealed up tight with your label on them. Can I get a list of your employees? Of course. We have nothing to hide. Doris, can you bring me in the current employee listing? There's a guy named Here it is, Mr. Parnell. On the desk, please. <laughs> what the fuck is here? Oh, my God. All right. <clears throat> Any name on that list that rings a bell? Oh, right here. Cruz. This is familiar. 1452 North Los Palmas. A Jorge Garcia Cruz. Wow. The factory sealed cans we found suggest a very professional operation, Mr. Parnell. We're looking for an inside man. I know nothing about this. I want this stopped as much as you do. Good cop. Let's use some intuition. I have, I have points. Bad cop. Tell me what I want to know, Parnell, or I will have half the LAPD down here tearing this place apart. You're hiding something. Am I right in thinking you would not want to pursue misdemeanors outside your drug case? Depending on what you call a misdemeanor, we might be prepared to turn a blind eye. The truth is I employ a lot of illegals. Oh. No one wants to do menial work anymore. Most of my factory staff are wetbacks. The local blacks and Chicanos all want jobs in aircraft factories. Presumably because the pay is a lot better. All right. 
How are your sales, Mr. Parnell? Just fine and dandy, son. We're entering a new era of prosperity. I hope you're both big soup eaters. What am I supposed to do with that information? He looks, I wanna, I wanna go bad cop again because he's not looking at me. Mr. Parnell, do you know what kind of trouble good. you're in? Good, good, good. Come clean with us. Okay, so things are a little flat. We're deciding whether to lower production. It's taken a while to adjust to not having any military contracts. You know, we sold Uncle Sam five million cans of minestrone. Ever heard of Juan Garcia Cruz? Not that I know of. He has a brother employed here. You know him? We employ large numbers of Mexicans. I, I'm not familiar with them all. See, okay, so the first time we had to go bad cop, which I didn't think, because he was, look at his eye contact. He's, like, steady. Second time, it was obvious. Oh, now he's starting to not make eye contact. Um, bad cop? That's funny, Parnell. He has the same address as his brother Juan, who we shot dead less than an hour ago. You better give me something. Look, I'm not involved in this. I'm getting enough grief from Washington. There's an investigation going on into profiteering, like a guy shouldn't be able to turn a buck while the war is on. I'm sure thousands of dead Marines sleep soundly knowing that you did okay. Tell us about Jorge Garcia Cruz. Jorge? I had no idea of his last name. His team does daily maintenance on the conveyor belts and cookers. All right, I'm gonna give it a minute. He's doing like a little dance now, so he seems very confident in his answer, you know? <laughs> I think good cop? I don't know what I would accuse him of. What'd I ask him if he knew what he, what, what? I don't think, what'd I ask him? I don't see why I wouldn't, why I'd be accused, so good cop. So he's here now? No, maintenance is at night. Uh, night shift finishes around midnight. He would usually come in around 9 p.m. and have everything ready for the morning shift at 6. All right, four for four. We'd like to take a Good look job, around the guys. factory floor, Mr. Parnell. I hope we won't have to shut down the line. No, nothing like that. Thank you. I'm grateful for that. I'll show you around myself. All right. I hate seeing how things are made. This is going to be like that time I went to the slaughterhouse and couldn't eat steak for a week. Actually, that doesn't really bother me, like... I've seen stuff like that a little bit, but it doesn't really bu bug me much. This is where the produce comes in. We peel and sort all of the vegetables and add them to the line in regular quantities. Fascinating. <laughs> I think what he's doing is just stealing cans. Right. That cop I don't that think cop. this company has anything to do with it. Oh, looks Why good. don't you keep quiet? You might learn something. <laughs> oh, good God. This really is turning into some nightmare school trip flashback. This is the hopper, which boils and purees the vegetables. The other hopper is for the pasta. This way, please. Ooh, You're I'm loving hungry. this. Aren't you, Phelps? Yes, sir. The soup is ladled automatically into cans. Next stage is labeling. This is where we get it. I'd like to see the packing and dispatch it. area, if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's over here. Follow me. I think he, he's just taking the cans. This is one of our dispatchers. Sergio, right? Yes, sir. These men are from the LAPD. Sergio here records our outgoing deliveries. They all go in the book, just there on the desk. Oh, can I have a look? We're looking for repeat business in large amounts, Cole. Gotcha, gotcha, 20 boxes. Grand Avenue downtown. 
15, 15. It's a lot of 15. Highland? Highland. 15 boxes. 20th century mar market. That's what it is. Ooh, up a little What's going on, Parnell? There's enough soup going to this place every day to feed a company of Marines. What are you talking about? I'd like a private word with your dispatcher, if you don't mind. Sure, go right ahead. I'll be over here when you need me. All right. Can I have a look at that coin? Sure, why not? Oh, there's silver dollar. Silver dollar, right? Yeah, that's right. The markings on it say it's been taken out of circulation. Maybe. I'm not trying to buy anything with it. I like it. Brings me luck. I don't like this guy. Weird. Do you have access to the canning area? I do. But I keep to my station. Loading and unloading. Don't care much for soup. Bad cop. No? Maybe not. No, he's making eye contact. He's making real eye contact. But he looks extremely fishy. I don't know. I can't tell. Should I use my intuition again on this guy? I'd say good cop. Sergio, nope. we know the dope gets canned here. We know it happens at night. And you know I work days. And what goes on at night, I don't want to know about. Fuck. What do you know about the 20th century market? Nada. I get the orders from upstairs. I send the goods where I'm told. And you don't know Juan Garcia Cruz? No, not me. Accuse? You're a liar, Sergio. You're in it, and I'm gonna break you for it. You're loco, Placa. I got nothing to do with Juan Garcia. Why do you have identical coin? Oh, wait, does it... Which one do I use? We found a matching silver dollar on Juan Garcia. What are the odds of that, Sergio? One and Jorge are in brothers. They're cousins. They work for some evil gabacho. The guy is an aberration. He gives out the silver dollars. Jorge gets me a list of deliveries every morning. 20th century is always out there. You keep your mouth shut for today and I'll take you in. Do we have a deal? Do I have a choice? Is that a serious question? Interesting. That's it for now, Sergio. If we need to speak to you again, we'll put in a call to Mr. Parnell. If you have to, I guess. We will be in touch, Mr. Parnell. It is imperative that things appear as normal here. Keep an eye on Sergio in case he gets tempted to blow the whistle. Thanks, I'll do that. You're going to overlook my little immigration problem, aren't you? Cheer up, fatso. We're gonna let you go on squeezing these poor saps a little while longer. Well, until some commie union types infiltrate this place. All right. Let's get out of here. 20th century market. I am glad to be out of that place. I never knew fresh vegetables could smell so bad. <laughs> How many years have you been in Vice, Roy? More years than I want to own up to, Phelps. You have any idea who Rojas was talking about? No, we're not moving. The gringo runs the operation? Could be anybody. You don't expect those morons to be running the show, do you? If you ask Rojas how much a silver dollar is worth, he'd probably say 50 cents. Sit tight. Let's take a look at what's going on. Either these customers are serious soup lovers, or I think we found our middleman. Car 11 King to KGPL. Car 11 King, go ahead. I'm requesting assistance in a B-Wagon at 
20th century markets, 1558 North Highland. Numerous narcotic suspects. Code 2 only, no sirens. 11K, roger. Okay. Cavalry should be here any minute. Chances. Here we go again. Come here, little boy. Get his ass. Whatever you're carrying, hand it over. Ooh, what's this? I'd say he's got about half a can left. I guess that makes me a pessimist. You can't take me in. Take you in? Be glad he didn't shoot you. I wouldn't have chased you. <laughs> if it was up to me, you'd be talking out of a hole in the back of your I head. I want information. Senor, I would like to help you, but I got a family in Mexico I have to provide for. And my compadres are very unreasonable. Your compadres? Turn out your pockets. Another dollar. I need Ray to run down these silver dollars. I need to make a deal. I need guarantees. You have identification? Sanchez Erto, Mexican, Tijuana address. Mm. I'll take a dollar. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Here's the deal, Erto. You give me information, and I won't give you to immigration. Oh, I just noticed something. So all the dollars combined spell out this. Weird. Give me EJ, the driver bringing in the shipments, or I'll make you for it. I run the shop. That's all I do. It's either bad cop or accused, but. Tell me the goddamn truth. You are in this with the others. I told you I know them. I told you my family's at risk. What makes me part of their gang? The dollar, sir. You have a silver dollar, Erto, just like Juan. I'm sure Ernesto and the rest have them as well. The silver dollars are his mark. Whose? Give me a name. None of us are allowed to see him. His creatures carry his orders to us. If I gave you his name, I would be buried alongside my wife and children. If you don't give us something, you will rot in jail while your family starves on the street. Ernesto Juarez, tonight at 1 a.m. He's bringing the truck into the soup factory. Please help me, sir. Ernesto can be very cruel. All right. Tell me about the soup cans. The soup is very popular, as you can see. No shit. Accuse again with the marijuana? Oh, he keeps looking down and looking away. Makes me think bad cop. It's either bad cop or accuse. Ooh, the way he looks. <laughs> I'm gonna try back. The real funny, wise guy. You wanna try saying that again with no teeth? I get a delivery at 7.30 every other day from the factory. Jorge organizes everything. One more. We know about Jorge and Juan. Juan is dead. Tell us how you know the Cruz boys. Ernesto put together this thing. He brought in Juan, Juan brought in Jorge. What am I supposed to do with that? Lies, you're telling, there's more to it? He's not telling me everything. He's keeping an eye contact with me though. Yeah, he's not looking away. I think good cop. Continue. I was already Grr. here. Ernesto knows I'm illegal. Yes, so sir. he threatened to report me if I didn't help. And the money is good. The gringos and the gringas, they love the reefer. And I didn't want to have to leave and start again in San Francisco. You're breaking my heart. You're under arrest, Erto. 
I'll speak right. to the DA and see if he will agree to not seize your assets or deport you. That's the best I can do. Yeah. Got another intuition point. All right. Back at the soup factory. I'm waiting for EJ. Freddie said they were moving 50 pounds a week. That's a lot of soup cans. I think this is an interstate operation. Moving dope around the country to selected grasshoppers. Local weed gets distributed in the usual way, through Pachuco street punks. Someone must know something about this drug baron character. Here they come. first man what a job to have I'd, it'd be such an adrenaline rush now, let's get them let's go shit boys in blue let's get a weapon all right move Move! Let's go! I'll go for the Tommy gun. Alright. Everyone into position! Got your back. Oh. LAPD, put your hands where we can see them! Oh. Go, go. Get in. Throw out the guns! He kind of just stood there. I didn't want to shoot a civilian. I thought he was a civilian. Okay. Who am I? Who am I? Why am I bleeding out? Shoot. A better angle. Like it, huh? Stay in cover. of them, Cole. Oof. All right. <laughs> Detectives, found something here you probably want to see. What's up? Tijuana address, we should see what the Federales have on it. Oh, he's got another dollar. Dollar, dollar bills. One dollar per dead man. Doesn't seem like much for a human life. Stash, Cole. 
Take a look in these boxes. Woo! At the very minimum, another 50 pounds. Shit. Damn. Detectives, I think we got the guy. Does the name Cruz mean something to you? It certainly does. Where's my hat? Wait, can I get my hat first? Where's my hat? Silver dollar. Phelps, Earl. Looks like quite a bloodbath. What was this all about? Drugs and money. What else? Speaking of money, where did that roll go? I picked it up for safekeeping. The department owes me 50. Ray, I have another two coins for you. Great. I've got something to show you. It's all set up on the table over here. I already here. figured it out, there. sir. Take a look at these coins you've been collecting. I already figured it out. There are letters out. cut into each coin, along with not legal tender. What does it mean? Those are Morgan silver dollars from the 20s. They were removed from circulation and sent for disposal. A number of smelters around the country had the contract. Look at them together. Can you work out what it says? First coin, M-A-S. The second, A-N-G. The third, K-A-Y. The fourth, M-E-T. The fifth, A-L-S. Mesenke Metals. A metal foundry. Would you like the address? Shit. Would I ever. 1034 Vine Street, Hollywood. We'll finish up here. It's already been a long night, Phelps. See if you can talk them into giving themselves up. All right. Let's go. I hope that big wad of cash doesn't weigh you down. Get your priorities straight, Phelps. We're close to bringing in one of the biggest dope cases of the year, and you're worrying about unsubstantial evidence? Go. Locked. We need another way in. We don't have, like, a tool or some, something. Let's check this way. Uh, maybe not. Maybe this way. We could ram the fence, no? It's up here. There we go. Look at that. Right it. Tell you when I see what's waiting for us at the top. <laughs> oh, look! Stay in cover! Shit, scared me. Throw out 
the guns. Mr. Sanders, you know this guy? I should have known. Of course I know Roy. Roy and I have had an arrangement for Get many up. years. You're under arrest. Am I? This we have a is. mountain of prima facie evidence, as well as the testimony. You'd be surprised how things have a habit of sorting themselves out. Evidence disappearing. Witnesses that can't be found. Policemen that forget. The impossible becomes probable when you have a client list like mine. Shut your mouth! Turn around and put your hands behind your back. About to say, I was like, Roy, seriously about to let this guy go? Working vice can be a thankless task, Belts. But on behalf of the brass and the moms and dads and the concerned citizens, I'd like to commend you and your partner for smashing this dope ring. Reefer is almost as big a threat to the children of this city as communism. What about Sanders, Lieutenant? Leave Sanders to me, Phelps. The chief will be looking after that one person. He will be brought to trial. Phelps, we are celebrating your success. Don't push your luck. Sanders is no longer your problem. <clears throat> All right, all clues found, five stars, one question missed. All right. Uh, another war flashback. Your platoon is what remains of recon. I'm folding you into the 22nd. You'll be going up that damn hill tonight. We're intelligence gathering, sir. I don't need intelligence, son. I need men who can hold rifles and kill Japs. Tonight, you're a rifle company. We've got cooks, mechanics, and stretcher bearers all going into the line. We aim to break them tonight, Lieutenant. Good to see you, Hank. You too, Cole. How's your war? Not quite what I expected. As long as I live, I will never get over that sound. Hey, who's that medic? He'll be killed going out there. It's Sheldon, the guy from the Asakawa Bridge. That guy's got no fear. He didn't make it. I didn't go out there to save him. What are you saying, man? I went out there to put him out of his misery, to ease his pain. Do you have a problem with that? Murder, Corman. That's war, Lieutenant. Smell the stench. Feel the horse breath on your neck. You need help, man. Call for me tonight, Lieutenant. When you're up on that hill. I've been up there three times already. The circles of hell have nothing on Sugarloaf Hill. Get this madman out of my sight! to the next case, the setup. You like the fight game, Phelps? I did a little boxing in the Marines. I found it a pretty humbling experience.
Mix your sandwich, buddy. Corned beef and egg salad, 12 cents. Bologna and ham and cheese, 10. It's strictly a mugs game. You'll like this fight, though. A plucky limey's about to take a beating from an up-and-coming Negro. You sound pretty sure about the result. I ought to be. I got 50 bucks on the black kid. Let's get a ringside seat. What are we doing here? We're just bonding? <laughs> Hammond made a run for his dressing room. Let's find out what's going on. God damn you, Albert. You get out here right now! Step back. LAPD. What's going on? That son of a bitch Hammond has jammed the door. And who are you? Carlo Arcaro, oh, his know manager. Him. I'm his trainer. Interesting attitude to have towards a victorious athlete. Victorious? We had an arrangement. We had a goddamn arrangement! That limey bastard was paid to take a nap. He reneged. And you were out of pocket? Damn right. Me and a couple hundred other people. Stand aside. He squeezed out the window. I'll put an APB out on him. Why would we do that? He won the fight fair and square. To prevent him from getting clipped. He was paid to flop. There was big money riding on this So are fight. we here because you lost money or because we're investigating a prize fighting racket? Very funny. Look around and see what you can find. <laughs> Which is Hammond's locker? Over by the pin board, second from the end. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.